Okay, so let's look at this first scenario. Uh, what's currently on my screen is the Remote Desktop Connection Manager. Uh, this is a free tool from Microsoft that allows me to manage multiple RDP sessions. So this is what we're gonna use to jump around from all the different hosts inside this little lab. Uh, the first two hosts that we have are my two Dell PowerEdge physical Hyper-V hosts. My next two right here are the guest clusters Node 1, Node 2. And those are virtual machines running on the respective hosts three and four. And then I've got a client that we're gonna set up for testing some connectivity. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna ping the guest file share cluster. And this is what we're gonna to use to see whether or not we lose connectivity to that cluster file share. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna map a drive. I've got two drive letters mapped out, a P drive and a T drive. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy a bunch of ISOs from the P drive over to my T drive, which is inside the virtual guest clusters. So let's set that copy up right now. Here's my P drive, here's the T drive, and we're gonna copy approximately, I don't know, say 16 gigs worth of data here. Okay, and while we're at it, we might as well bring up a, a real tool here, and this bar graph shows me that, yeah, I'm generating a whole bunch of network traffic. Okay, so let's go over to my failover cluster manager. Inside Failover Cluster Manager, I want to verify where my virtual machines are currently running. So guest cluster node 1, this guy right here is running on Dell PowerEdge server number 3, and guest cluster node 2 is running on the other physical node, which is my DP server 4. So in order to vacate all the services from my physical first Hyper-V node over to the second, we do something called a live migration. Simply right-clicking on the guest cluster, selecting the context menu for live migrate, and we select that we want to migrate this over to the other physical node inside my Hyper-V cluster. Now the idea behind this right here is if I had, a, a, say, 20 virtual machines running on my physical node 1 or DPE server 3, I would actually use a different tool for doing this, but that's beyond the point. Um, I would select each one and I would simply live migrate them off and vacate them over to node 2. What this is doing is in real time, it's taking the contents that are currently in memory and spinning everything up and copying those contents of memory over to the other physical node and making sure that we do not have any kind of end user impact while it's doing this. And from an end user perspective, you can see the file copy happening. This is my constant ping here. And the only thing that the clients will actually see is maybe one ping timeout, oh, and that's where we see it right there, and then the copying just keeps on continuing. The, the clients have no idea that they've actually had the virtual machine that they're hitting or the cluster service that they're hitting migrate over from one physical node to the other. Then at that point in time, I can take this node and I can actually verify that it has no Hyper-V elements loaded on it anymore and it's safe to shut down so that I can do some patching or install whatever I would like to install on it. Okay, and that's uh, the first scenario that we're gonna do today.